one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight small planes crashed to the ground in 2018, some of them two days in a row, many of them deadly. So I sat down with pilot Evanthea Papastatis to get some perspective. Does that seem like a lot to you? Well, eight, of course, is a lot because, you know, you like to have done compared to the airplanes that are take off and landing, so it's very minimal. But two back-to-back -back crashes? It, that's just, it's a fluke the way that happens because none of those planes are related. They don't have the same maintenance department. They don't have the same owners. They didn't fly out of the same airport. I mean, it's just totally random. Most of the crashes in Georgia have been small, single-engine aircraft, except for the military cargo plane that killed nine on its way in from Puerto Rico and the business jet that killed four on its way in from Tennessee. So we had to ask, why are so many small planes going down and what can we do to stop it? The data says that it's 99.9% .9 the pilot's error, which answers the question, is a big plane safer than a small plane? Well, they're basically the safety-wise about the same. This is Russell Pizzuto at the All to Fly Aviation Academy. He says it comes down to being a stickler for the rules. And the first thing we'll do is we'll check the documents of the airplane to make sure that the airplane itself is legal. Then he checks the airplane itself, every single control, one by one. Uh, these are the flaps. Oh, we just want to make sure they're coming all the way down and coming back up when we go to fly. Once that's done, it's up in the air. It is something taking off and landing. Those are the two critical parts. With thousands of feet between you and the ground, decision making and training are your fiercest tools. What about when things go wrong? It's terrible when things go wrong. And I'm going to confidently say that 99% of the time, most pilots make a good decision. Unfortunately, that 1% happens. So you could have a good decision that led to a bad consequence. Exactly. That's just life. We've asked the NTSB for an update on the investigation of the two crashes last month, but we got an email saying because of the partial government shutdown, no one will respond until it's over.